Depression is a condition that affects one in five people in the UK. Um, I think depression is something that people assume they know what it is. They kind of think, you know, it's low mood and when you don't feel well. And I guess to some extent it's similar to that. But there's, there's a difference between feeling bad for a day or two and, and feeling the depths of depression, which actually is a sense of hopelessness, it's a sense of helplessness, um, and, and it's an inability to engage with life in, in, in a healthy way. Depression um, almost feeds on itself, making us feel that we're not good enough, therefore making us feel lower, stopping us from you know, many times engaging with the people around us that can help us, thus not giving us the social support that we need that will help us out of it. So if you do begin to feel the symptoms of depression, and I'm not talking about feeling low for a day or two, which is perfectly normal and, and you know, a sign of the human condition, we all feel that, but if there's something consistent, if you're feeling this all the time, if you're noticing differences in how you sleep, in how you eat, in, in your sex drive, if all of these things are happening, if you feel really lethargic, then it may be a sign that, that you are depressed. And if this is the case, it's really, really important that you seek support and help. In the first instance, I would always say speak to your general practitioner. But beyond that, I would say speak to people around you. Um, many times depression runs in families. You'd be surprised at, at the understanding that you'll get. Beyond that, there's some wonderful support groups online that you can go on to and, and, and learn more about. But ultimately, we know that we have the skills now to help people with depression. Um, I use cognitive behavior therapy. There are many other therapies out there that have a very good proven efficacy record with, with depression. And it's something that certainly your healthcare professional can tell you about. So if you're feeling low, take the time to do something about it. Anxiety is the most common mental disorder in the UK today. Anxiety is sort of a blanket term to kind of uh, go over lots of other conditions, sort of uh, whether we're talking about generalized anxiety disorder or, or panic attacks or, or even phobias and OCD. Um, what we feel when we're anxious is an overriding sense of worry. Now, we can all relate to that. We know what it's like to, to be anxious before a big test or a big date. The difference with people who suffer with anxiety disorders is that there's a disproportionate response between what they're feeling and what the stressor is, or an inability to stop ruminating, going over and over and over the fear. So it's either exaggerated or you can't stop it. And um, as such, it's something that can really affect people's quality of life. Because for most people, the main way they try and cope is they avoid. Um, so they think, you know, I'm anxious around people, I'll stop going out. I'm, you know, anxious about uh, transport and I'll walk everywhere. But actually what happens when you do that is that your solution becomes part of the problem because all you're doing is reinforcing the fear because then you realize, oh, well, when I'm not out, I feel fine. So going out becomes all the more scary. So it's really, really important with anxiety disorders that they're, they're dealt with not only at a cognitive level but also at a behavioral level to help people cope properly.